Today I'll be testing a new toy. Hey everybody, welcome back to Dinner with Dave. Well, a couple of weeks ago my wife came home and she had a small present for me. It's something that I really wanted, but I was like, yeah, should I buy it or shouldn't I? Because it's quite expensive. I do have to say that because it's about 50 euros. But in the end, she was like, yeah, you deserve something nice. So she gave me this. This is a cast iron waffle iron. Oh. And now I've been thinking, I do know a few nice recipes with this thing. And for that, I'm going to need my barbecue cast iron. You can also do it on the fire, on your stove, doesn't really matter, or in the oven. Even in the oven you can do it. But I was like, yeah, let's do it on the barbecue because I've also got some meatballs. And every two weeks at my job, at my work, we are getting one big box of fruit and vegetables. And in there we've got some beetroots. Now, a lot of people didn't know what to do with them or didn't know any nice recipes. So I've got a quick, simple, easy dish for that. Yes, let's do it. Here we go, guys. Now I've been telling you all that I wanted to use the barbecue and I also wanted to prepare some meat, some moing balls. Uh, I've got some moing balls left over, only need to get them warm and get the sauce on there. So for this occasion, I will set my barbecue up like this. This one is gonna be the cooler side because I haven't got any coals in there. As you can see, no coals below the iron plate. And on the other side, I've got the charcoal. Uh, I'm also going to use uh, a heat protector because I really don't want it to be hot. So let's grab one. Heat protector also got it, gonna get it in here. I don't want this side to be really, really hot. It could be hot a little bit because the moin balls has to warm up. But the real heat will be on this side. I want to get my waffle iron on there and I want it screaming, screaming hot. So the dish that I'm going to put in will nicely bake. What is it? You probably won't guess it. Take a guess, leave it in the comments and we'll see if you're right. This is the idea. I got myself a waffle iron and I got myself some potato croquettes. Uh, I just bought a frozen bag at one of the big supermarket stores. Um, yeah, you can buy them in the freezer. And uh, some of them are already at uh, room temperature, the other ones aren't. But the plan is to fill up the waffle iron when it's hot. So like this, just get the croquettes in there. So fill it up. And then we're gonna close it and we will get a nice waffle made of potato. Now, if you're gonna serve this to people, they probably don't know what, what's happening to them because they think, oh, a waffle, and then they taste the potato. So that's the idea. For that, I first need to warm up the barbecue. Uh, while that's happening, I still have some uh, meatballs out of the freezer, some moing balls uh, ready to go. The only thing I need to do is to get some sauce on them. I've got blackjack. I like that one. And then prepare a salad with beetroots. Air shield package with some onion, a little bit salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, and that's gonna be it. Now, important part. This is the first time I'm using this. So I wanna heat it up first. And I've got some non-stick baking spray. Guys, Use it because any, everything will stick 
and your whole waffle will be totally messed up. So just lightly spray it. The heat will cover everything later. So nicely get everything oiled up. You can see it's shining in the barbecue. It will heat up, it will season the cast iron. So don't worry about that. You can leave it dripping if you don't trust it. I'm just gonna close it, place it on the barbecue and I hope I won't be forgetting my gloss because this will be incredibly hot. Now beetroot salad, for this one I don't want to use my wooden plank, my wooden cutting board. It's going to be wasted because of all the color is coming out. I got myself a sieve, my knife, I'm using a plastic one, much better. Uh, opening it up. Get it into the sieve and let it leak for a while. These are already softened so you, you, yeah, you can just cut them and use them. Um, yeah, wash your hands. Make sure everything is safe, nothing will be spilled because sometimes the redness will really mess up your kitchen. Yeah, and I'm experienced with that, believe me. So that's gonna leak. Now first of all I'm gonna cut an onion. Uh, you probably won't need a whole onion, so if you use half it's okay too. We prefer to have the taste of the onion and the taste of the beetroot will also get into the onion. It will get nicely colored. You can try to cut it extra. There we go. Now we've got a little bit of the redness already in. Let the onion absorb it. Now beetroot. I like all kinds of pieces. So blocks. Strokes. You can make them as thin as you want. This is almost see-through. Just get all kinds of variations in there. Like an onion. Just chop it up. Bigger one. Time to wash my hands. After washing for a while, they are clean again. Now, we are gonna add salt, give it a stir, a little bit more salt. We want the onion to be like pinkish. Fresh pepper. There we go. Now, most important thing, taste, a little bit crunchiness of the onion, enough salt, enough pepper, <coughs> enough pepper. Then I got myself some um, good olive oil. Get it in there. About two or three tablespoons. You want everything nicely shiny. Now have another taste. Mm. Good olive oil guys. Better spend a little bit more on quality products instead of buying the cheap stuff. Now here we go. Barbecue at 200 degrees. Getting hot. First I want to start off getting the moiden balls. Have them here. They just slowly need to warm up. Get them all there. 
it's getting nice and hard you can do it slowly so no big deal gonna cover everything with the sauce barbecue sauce on there now it's time to get that cast iron off the barbecue time to get the croquettes in there the croquettes get it nicely divided um, I want to give it a go with 10 I'm not sure what that's gonna do yet because this is also a testing phase for me be careful this one is hot now give it a good press close it up and place it on the barbecue close the lid and turn it around in a couple of minutes now final one as you can see moin balls really nicely done and look at this everybody potato waffles nice crispy add them to the rest get that upside down time to plate up moin balls ready waffles ready Ooh, nice so let's start get the waffles on the plates crispy potato waffles Ooh. nice pieces some big ones some smaller ones all ready to go ready for me to take the moin balls moin balls ready to go get some moin balls on the plate oh. there we go with the moin balls Now, beetroot salad. For me, the kids will address it themselves. Mmm, nice salad. Some mayonnaise. Some hot sauce. Ladies and gentlemen, with my new toy, the potato waffles. So there we go everybody, yes, with my new toy I made some potato waffles and that's really nice because it's nice, crispy, well let me take a knife, you can hear crispy waffles, that's gonna be delicious. Now this was Dave from The Number Dave, thank you all for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram and we're gonna see each other next week, bye bye.